Hey friends. Hey Jolens. Well, I hope you're having a good week. We miss you. What happened? Well, if you must know, I have leprosy. You're a leopard? No, leprosy. I'm sick. Oh. Well, what is that? Well, if you have leprosy, you feel really bad. Sick on your stomach, fever, and you get the most awful bumps on your skin. It's like chicken pox times like infinity. Oh, I see. Do people get that now? <sighs> Not too much. I don't know if anyone that has it now. Oh. It's just something that happened in Bible days. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, well, that's kind of a coincidence. Because uh, the guy in our story today, he had leprosy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's kind of interesting. Well, you know what he did? He went he went to go see a special prophet from God to help him. That's what we should do, huh? Yeah, we we gotta do something here. Yeah, I'll say. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. That's a big problem. Mm. Well, we should, we should learn about this guy here. It's a pretty good story, I think. Let's do it. Yeah, we should. So, we're gonna learn about it from the, from the good book that we always do, the dictionary. Just kidding. From the Bible. Yeah. So let's jump into it. So we're going to use our board up here today. So get those listening ears on and look this way. So our story is about the guy we were talking about just a minute ago. And his name is Naaman. Can you guys say that? Naaman. Good job. Very good. So he was a pretty important guy back in those times. He was a captain in the army, so he led soldiers. So he was pretty important back then. So he probably had a pretty nice house, huh? Yeah, I would think so. He lived there with his wife. But they weren't there by themselves. They had a little servant girl. And we don't know her name, so we'll just call her Little Maid, okay? And Little Maid, she has an interesting story too because she came from a place far away from where they lived at called Israel, and she was taken from her home. That's kind of sad, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't want to be taken from my home. They made her leave her home in Israel that was far away, and they made her come live in this home, and they made her be a servant. That's pretty sad. But you know what? She didn't act sad about it, and she wasn't grumpy. She didn't say, I don't want to work for you. I'm not doing these chores. Nope, she sure didn't. She did exactly what she was asked to do, and she did a good job at it. So she was a pretty good, a pretty good little servant. Um, and she was a special servant. She didn't work for everybody in the house. She only worked for Naaman's wife. She was a special servant for her. So everything was going along pretty good until one day, guess what? <gasps> Naaman got sick and do you know what he got? He didn't turn into a leopard. Nope, or a tiger. Nope, he got leprosy, just like what we were talking about. Not, not what Mr. Jared really has. No, we're just, we're just teasing a little bit. Show him, Mr. Jared. Oh, just stickers. I'm healed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know what? Naaman 
Nope, Naaman's leprosy was for real. He was really, really sick. So, are you happy when you're sick? Mm -mm. Nope, he is pretty sad, just like you would be when you're sick. And I bet his wife was pretty sad that he was sick too. But you know what? The people in his family didn't know what to do about it, but somebody in that house did know what to do about it. That girl, little maid, she knew what to do about it. You know, she lived in that place, Israel, before she came to this house to work, and she knew about God's special helper, Elisha. And she knew that Elisha had been used by God to help people. And she remembered all those things that Elisha had done before. And she thought to herself, she knew that if Naaman went to go see Elisha, that he could help him. And you know what? She thought in her heart, she was like, oh, you know what? I better tell, I better tell his wife that. And she didn't have to do that. You know, she had been made to work in this house. She could have said, hmm, you know what? I'm glad he's sick. It serves him right. But she didn't do that. She did the right thing. She went right over to Naaman's wife and told him he needs to go see God's special helper, Elisha, so that he'll get better. That was good. She had goodness in her heart. And it wasn't because she was just a good girl. It wasn't because she had a good mommy and daddy. You know why that was? It was because she had God in her heart. When God's in our heart, he can make us do good things and he can help us do the right thing. And that's what happened with this little girl, little maid. That's what happened. God helped her do the right thing and to be a good listener. He helped her a lot. So that's exactly what she did here. She came right over and she told Naaman's wife, she said, you've got to get him to go see Elisha. And Elisha will help him with God's power to get better. So guess what? Naaman's wife, she went right over and she told Naaman. She said, we've got to go. We've got to go. This is what she said and I believe her. So they did. They got into the, a chariot because they didn't have cars back then. And they went. They went to go see Elisha. But that's the end of our story for today. You'll have to watch next week to see what happens and to see if he gets all better or if he stays sick. Mm. So do you think maybe we should have some questions? Were you guys being good listeners this week? I figured. Yeah. So let's let's have some questions and maybe, maybe if you get the answers right, we'll do some silly stickers or something like that. Yeah? Sounds fair. Sounds fair. Yeah. Okay. So who was the man in our story that got sick? Was it Nathan or Naaman? It was Mr. Jared. Oh silly goose. What did you say? Naaman, good job. Yeah. And what was he sick with? Was it being a leopard or leprosy? Yes, leprosy. Good job, that's right. Okay, let's see. And what was it that was going to make him better? Was it going to the doctor or was it going to see God's special helper, Elisha? Very good. That's right. He was going to go see God's special helper, Elisha. Okay, here's a bonus question. When we are sick or when we're having a problem, who should we ask for help? No, it's not Mr. Jared. <laughs> yes, yes, good job. It's God. Very good, friends. All right, we love you and we miss you, okay? We'll talk to you next week.
Bye, guys. Yes.